Okay, so on to question three. What is vapor pressure lowering? Okay, so vapor pressure lowering is a term that's used to describe the addition of a non-volatile solute. So by non-volatile, they mean uh, a substance that is hard for it to turn into a gas, pretty much. So a non-volatile solute results in lowering the vapor pressure of the solvent. Okay, so we can also use Raoul's law. To try and describe how the values of the vapor pressure may change upon the addition of a non-volatile solute. So for example, the pressure of substance A would be equal to the mole fraction of A times the pressure of A under standard conditions. Similarly, if we had the pressure of B, this is equal to the molar fraction of B times the standard pressure of B, and the total pressure of this system would be PA plus PB. So you can see how, depending on how much of the other substance there is, uh, this will affect the overall pressure, the new pressure, of the solute and the solvent. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Uh, vapor pressure lowering is one of the colliative properties of solutions. Example, boiling point elevation and freezing point depression. The vapor pressure lowering describe the phenomenon that the vapor pressure of a liquid will be lower when another compound is added to it. This means that the aqueous solution will have a lower vapor pressure than just the pure solvent. So this is a uh, pressure of the pure solvent is d denoted as the uh, with the z zero at the top like that and generally the solute added is non-volatile which is dissolved in the solution so the vapor pressure lowering can be also described by Raoul's law of equilibrium vapor pressure where PA is equal to the mole fraction of A times the pure solvent vapor pressure of A and the pressure of B is equal to the mole fraction of B times the pure solvent vapor pressure of B. And then P total is just equal to PA plus PB. However, since the added solute is non-volatile, it does not contribute to the total vapor pressure of the solution. With this, the vapor pressure becomes only a fraction of the pure solvent vapor pressure depending on the mole fraction of the pure solvent. So this solution is correct.